Hey everyone, today we're tackling a frustrating Windows issue that many people run into. You have unallocated space on your hard drive, but when you try to extend your C drive, the option is greyed out and unusable. Don't worry, you're not alone. This is actually a super common problem, but the good news is there's a fix. So let's dive right in and solve this together. All right, go to Windows Start button and open Disk Management. As you can see, I have 7.81 gigabytes of unallocated space right here. But if I right click on the C drive and select extend volume, it's grayed out and I cannot extend my C drive. Windows only allows you to extend a volume if the unallocated space is directly next to it. The issue here is that there's a hidden recovery partition between the C drive and the unallocated space. This recovery partition is important for system recovery, but unfortunately, it's also stopping us from expanding the C drive. We need to temporarily remove or disable this partition so we can merge the unallocated space with our C drive. Don't worry, we can recreate the recovery partition later. Okay, now let's fix this step by step. First, open command prompt as administrator. Type reagentc slash disable and press enter. This will temporarily disable the Windows recovery environment. Now, we'll check the partitions. Type disk part and press enter. Then type list disk to see all available disks. Select your main disk. Find the disk where your C drive is located. Type select disk, replace with your disk number. Now list all partitions. Type list partition. You should see a recovery partition in the list. Find the recovery partition, which is usually labeled recovery and typically less than one gigabyte in size. Select the recovery partition. Type detail partition and press enter. Copy the partition ID and attributes as we will need these later to recreate the recovery partition. Type delete partition, override, and press enter. This should successfully delete the recovery partition. Now, you can extend the C drive. Right click on the C drive, and this time the extend option should be available. Select extend volume, and follow the on-screen wizard to merge the unallocated space with your C drive. The unallocated space has been successfully merged into the C drive partition, Finally, we need to recreate the recovery partition. First, create a one gigabyte empty partition in the unallocated space. Now create new partition drive for the recovery. Next, return to command prompt, type this partition and press enter. Select the newly created empty partition by typing select partition 2, replace 2 with your partition number. Now, set the ID for the recovery partition then configure its attributes. The recovery partition has now been successfully recreated. However, the recovery partition is also visible in File Explorer. To hide it, go back to Command Prompt, type this volume and press Enter. Take note of the drive letter assigned to the recovery partition. Next, select the recovery volume and remove its drive letter to prevent it from appearing in File Explorer. Type exit to leave disk part. Finally, type reagency slash enable and press enter to re-enable the Windows recovery environment. That's it for today's video. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more tech tips. Got any questions or suggestions? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.